Happy Friday everyone. We are going into the weekend and while we had some sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover, a little bit of everything it seemed like today. Uh, tomorrow, more on the rain side of things, we are seeing a very active pattern of weather over the next few days. It all starts really over the next few hours into the nighttime, into the early morning hours on Saturday. A little bit of lightning up during the course of the day on Saturday, and then more rain as we get closer to Sunday. And it's because of this, an atmospheric river of moisture out there. Now, it doesn't look like a whole lot here, but watch as we go later today into tomorrow. You can see that starting to form essentially the path of all of these storm systems right at the Pacific Northwest and doesn't stay off to the north for very long and will start to dip down into our area right about there as we go from Saturday into Sunday, Sunday into Monday. There's that atmospheric river uh, continuing to move on through and we've got plenty of shower activity possible. One of the main things we're looking at is the potential for snow levels to drop just a little bit. The system coming through tonight is on the warmer side, so those snow levels staying pretty high up there, but that potential is out there at times for freezing rain in areas like Klamath County. So we'll look at it again with our satellite radar and you can see it's starting to form. It's not quite here yet, but watching this a little bit later in the evening and maybe there already we are seeing plenty of potential for those showers rolling on through as the night goes on into the early morning hours. Again, a little bit of a break and then we have more potential of rain on the way. We we'll get another picture of what that atmospheric river looks like. You can see the path really pointing almost directly at Southern Oregon and Northern California. That'll continue as that river of moisture trapped up in the atmosphere continues to follow the jet stream that jet stream pointing right at us checking out your satellite radar just a little bit closer you can see most of the potential as we get into the afternoon hours eventually into the evening hours starting out in the typical areas once again brookings and crescent city which tend to see the most rain this time of year north bend and port orford eventually seeing plenty of potential as well here's your pinpoint forecast and this is essentially what it will look like the system itself approaches as we get into the evening hours heaviest rainfall again brookings and crescent city keep on going through the day and we start to break things up just a bit as we get into Saturday morning, but again, Saturday afternoon. This is 1 p.m. for example. Uh, well, if you have plans outside, the morning's probably the best time to do it because we're going to see more of that. Not even getting a break as we head into Sunday. More rain on the way, and that could be heavy at times for coastal areas. Also, the potential for snow, but that's way up there in the mountains. Just a little too warm. Finally, drying out towards Sunday. The good news at the end of the forecast, we do have plenty of potential of sunshine once again. But for tonight and tomorrow, it's showers and then rain. And rain could be heavy at times during the course of the day tomorrow with some breezy winds. Winds pick up as the day goes on tomorrow looking at highs in the mid 50s. I guess that's one of the bright sides. This is a warmer system. We're going to stay warmer. Temperatures above average for the West Valleys with plenty of rain possible over the next 24 hours and some fairly breezy winds. Rain could mix with snow at higher elevations of Siskiyou County and east of the Cascades. Rain and snow late. A chance of freezing rain that's mainly along 97. So Klamath Falls, Chamolt, Crescent, seeing that potential out there. Rain likely tomorrow as well. Mainly rain. For the Red Valley, your seven day forecast today, tomorrow, and Sunday looking like showery days. Monday and Tuesday, we'll call them showery as well, but a little less and a little less as we get into Wednesday, even warming up with some sunshine possible towards the middle of next week. For the Klamath Basin, a combination of rain and snow, but it's mainly rain as we get into the day on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday also bring potential of rain and snow showers before drying out by Wednesday. Mount Shasta City and a lot of Northern California seeing plenty of potential tomorrow and the next day for those showers continuing. You got to go pretty high up to find snow and for the coast rainy and windy at the same time that'll continue through the beginning of next week.